sorry. I'm on stage. Well, uh, now that I'm here, let me take this opportunity to present the Muppet Show's resident artist, Gonzo the Great. Thank you. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I will eat this rubber tire to the music of the flight of the bumblebee. Music, maestro. He's doing it. He's eating a tire. Amazing. Astounding. Boring. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, looks like it's another wipeout for Gonzo. They know about art. <laughs> Gentlemen, in a major feat of death defying music robotics never seen before. Uh, the great Gonzo will perform on bagpipes, the Ina Kleina knock music from a flagpole ten feet in the air. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Gonzo should quit while he's alive. <laughs> Are you okay, Gonzo? Oh, sure. I just fall 11 feet onto solid concrete. Oh, oh that's too bad. It looks like you're going to have to get a new bagpipe. Yeah, I'm having it made out of solid beaver skin. Well, I'm sorry about that beaver. I don't know how it got in here. Usually we're much more careful about who we allow in this place. Yeah, I can see that. Cow, uh, it's been a bad night for security. Wow, you got a great pair of legs. In fact, she's got two great pair of legs. Hey, uh, you wouldn't think about going into show business, would you? Well, at least have dinner with me. Promise? Guns all. Oh. In a major feat of death-defying intellectualism never seen before, uh, the great Gonzo will recite Shakespeare while suspended by his nose from a feather boa nine feet in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Merchant of Venice, Act One, Scene One. Antonio speaks. In sooth. I know not why I am so sad. It wearies me. You say, sir. of our audience, the great Gonzo will catch a cannonball with his bare hand as fired from a muzzle-loading cannon. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Thank you! The great Gonzo! The bare hand! The muzzle-loading cannon! The lovely assistant, Crazy Harry! I must ask for complete silence from the audience for this act. impact 
but I think, yes, he caught the cannonball. Well, I've seen my share of cannonball catching acts, but that had something different. What was that? A survivor. <laughs> Hey, uh, have you heard about the new police show starring Gonzo the Great? No, what's it called? The, uh, Long Arm of the Law. <laughs> Very funny! Very droll bear! Okay, uh, what's next, Neil? The great Gonzo will attempt to wrestle a six-pound red brick while completely blindfolded. Set on stage, please. Kermit, you promised me a welterweight brick. a rather sensational new act I'm doing. This oh. is Eric the Yodeling Clam. Oh, well, if you're busy, I'll... No, 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 no. Uh, Eric, uh, take five. Ah! Oh, I get him! Oh, oh, oh. Gee, gee, me. Oh, dear. Are you all right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, I'm glad. Why? I mean, why? Well, why did you say you were glad? Well, I... I think you're terrific on the show. You do? Yeah. I'd, I'd hate to say anything happened to you, especially... You uh, would? Well, yeah. Of course. Wow. Look, you're not just kidding around here, are you? Of course I'm not kidding. I think you're terrific. Excuse me, Miss Khan. It's time to get ready for your musical number. Oh, thank you, Scooter. I'll, I'll see you later, Gonzo. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah, bye. Hey, Gonzo. How's it going with your yodeling clam? You can have him. I'm in love. What's he good for? Chowder. <laughs> see what we have so far we had uh, the dancing rats we had uh, mary louise and terry louise kermit uh, not now gonzo uh, we had the uh, fazoobs the fazoobs kermit uh, what is it gonzo kermit, i've got this great new act for you uh, not now gonzo you see right now i'm in the middle of auditions Okay, we'll audition. I, I've seen your acts, Gonzo. You see, I don't want to see any more of them. Thank you. Okay? I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right? All right? All right? Scooter! Who's next, Scooter? Well, look, at least let me tell you about the act. No. Scooter! I'm going to tell you anyway. I won't listen. Dancing cheese. Dancing cheese? You were listening. Will somebody find Scooter? Oh, Kermit, she's a great dancer. She? It's, it's a female cheese? Of course it's a female. You don't expect me to dance with a male, do you? Uh, uh, no, no. That'd look weird. Uh, yes, yes. I'm sure that would look weird, Gonzo. Okay. Uh, you say you dance with her. 
You're getting interested, aren't you? No, I'm just killing time until Scooter gets here. Oh. Well, anyway, she's featured. We mm -hmm. do a flamenco. Mm -hmm. I just click my heels a little. The cheese does the fancy steps. The cheese does the fancy steps, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, Gonzo, I don't think I want to hear any more about it. But Scooter's not here yet. Uh, I don't care. Uh, oh, here he comes now. Oh, Scooter! Uh, just remember it. Uh, yeah, sure. Yes, Chief? Uh, Scooter, who you got next, huh? Oh, uh, Gonzalez and Yolanda. <laughs> Well, let us trust that we've got some truly new and different acts for the rest of the evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, here is Gonzo the Great with a trumpet solo, Flight of the Bumblebee. That does it, I'm leaving. Mr. Curtain, Mr. Sellers. Gonzo. Fifteen seconds. I should live so long. in a master feat of mathematical dexterity. Um, is, is he ready back there? Uh, no, no. I'm ready. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. The great Gonzo, in a master feat of mathematical dexterity, will recite the seven times multiplication table while balancing a piano and standing in a hammock. The great Gonzo! <laughs> Seven times one is, uh, seven. Seven times two is, uh, s -s seventeen. No, let me count that. Uh, seven, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Carry the one, eleven, twelve. Well, that act certainly suited Gonzo. It did? Yep, suited him right down to the ground. Oh. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Uh, anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, uh, in his premier presentation of immortal uh, perfection, otherwise known as rank stupidity, uh, the, the great Gonzo will yodel Rimsky-Korsakov while riding on a motorized pogo stick. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Gonzo! Yeah, Howdy, hi! Thank you very much, Jim. We love your songs. Here it comes. Ha, ha, ha. Yodel, lady, ho. Yodel, doy, dee, 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 dee. Gonzo, you weren't in that last number, were you? No, 
Oh, I'm learning Spanish for my new act. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see, you have to learn Spanish if you're going to train Mexican jumping beans. Uh, makes sense. Gracias. I'm going to go rehearse now. Right. Adios. What? Uh, goodbye. Ah, goodbye. Adios. Whatever. <laughs> Kermit! Look! They're gone! My Mexican jumping beans were in this dish and they're gone! Oh, well, maybe, uh, somebody ate them. Ate my stars? Kermit! It wasn't you, was it? Uh, no, Gonzo, it wasn't me. I know how to find out. All I have to do is say Arriba. Ah. Arriba? Ah. Arriba? Ah. Animal! Ah. Ah. You ate my stars! Ah. Ah. Animal, you gotta get on stage ah. for the band! Ah. He doesn't eat my waltzing walnuts. It's time to get things started on the most sensational, inspirational, this week's sort of railroad stational. our next performer as a complete contrast to Miss Raquel Welch, but then again, you could also describe him as a complete contrast to every man, woman, and child on Earth. Uh, here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Gonzo the Great. Lonely. Hey, I get lonely. Sad. Whew, I know sad. But you do what you can with the things that you see to make life a jamboree. And I see cows playing cellos with bananas where their horns should be. <laughs> and I see flags being waved by ducks in buckets and pigs drinking lemon tea. Jamboree! Inside and you, you got, got a jamboree. If all you know are bad times, if all you see are walls, if you get your news from the scuffs on your shoes, then that won't help at all. Cause you gotta see penguins throwing popcorn, chickens on a well dressed moose. Hi, girls. And you gotta see rats floating by on pink balloons and fuzzy things on. And you got a jamboree. Well, you go run from thunder and you stay away from rain. But I'll be looking at the colors in the puddles to see my jamboree. Jamboree! jamboree. Chocolate cakes! Jamboree! Melt on snakes! Some people give up, some people get out, but me? Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm a jamboree! Yeah. Yeah. Jamboree. I'm not even going to try it. I'll leave you in the company of the great Gonzo. Ladies and gentlemen, this evening I will perform a feat of lunatic daring. <laughs> Before your very eyes, I will ride this motorcycle up 
this ramp and jump directly into that box, landing safely between those two elderly gentlemen. What? Oh, I can assure you, you'll be in no danger. You're right. We'll be in Chicago. Huh? For their own safety, uh, while they were dozing, I took the precaution of chaining them to their chairs. <laughs> On my mark. Get set. Go. First, I accidentally introduce Leslie Ann Warren as a knife-throwing act, and then Gonzo does that. We are off to a crummy start. Oh, it's going to be a great act, Kermit, but something's wrong with my bike. Good if I advance this morning. a song for you. Uh. Oh, Sinatra or Mick Jagger will probably want to record it, but I want you to hear it from me first. Uh. Oh. You alone, you are my one and only chicken steady. <laughs> and if you leave, I will alone and lonely sick and ready. And that's a fact You and I What a terrific idea for an act Oh, listen to the rhymes in the chorus It's very cold portery, Camilla You're sweeter than wine or vanilla, Camilla Come lie beneath this tree, it's a willa, Camilla Camilla The night it grows Stella Stella Camilla You're prettier by far than Godzilla Camilla Who are you? Huh? Me? Wow! Perfection incarnate! Wow! Huh? Oh, statuesque and yet still poultry in every sense. <laughs> you have that one thing lacking in chickens. <sighs> Bulk. I'm so confused. You are so huge. Well, I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. I was just looking for Miss Uggums. And you found me. Lady Luck has smiled and showered us with that certain thing. <laughs> Flower pot. It is the Pilgrim Penguins. Achoo! Because they're night. Oh, wait a second. Weren't, weren't you a penguin just a minute ago? <gasps> yeah, what happened? I don't know, but there's somebody who might. Gonzo! Yes, Kermit! Uh, Gonzo, you are an expert on chickens. Uh, well, I like to think so. Uh, okay, well, look at this right here. Wow! Hey, you're kind of uh, new around here, aren't you? Gonzo, <laughs> uh, a minute ago, this chicken was a penguin. Yes! So how could this have happened? Uh, I think I know. What? Well, it looks to me like an outbreak of... And I could use a dramatic sting here. Gonzo, never mind the dramatic sting. An outbreak of what? An outbreak of... Cluckitis! Cluckitis? Yes. It's where anybody can suddenly turn into a chicken. Anybody? Yes. Isn't it terrific? <laughs> Is there 
there's another one. Uh, Gonzo, I've got to go on stage. Don't say anything about this. Oh, gee, that won't be easy. Yeah, well, uh, it could disrupt the show. Just act normal. <laughs> that won't be easy either. Lemon meringue. Okay, Gonzo, stand by for your hypnotism act. Chickens, what are you doing here? Shoo, 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 shoo. What? Careful. What? Those chickens are hypnotized. <laughs> hypnotized chickens? Yes, they're in my power. Gonzo, I, I don't believe this. Oh, sure. See, I hypnotize them, and then I can get them to do anything I want. Uh, like what? Animal impressions. <laughs> Puppy dog. Guys, oh, that is terrible. I'm not even going to introduce you for a crummy act like that. Sick him. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'll introduce him. Uh, uh, anyhow, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, your own, and you're welcome to him, Gonzo the Great. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! And now, students of the occult, I shall demonstrate my amazing powers of hypnosis. I shall place a member of the audience in a trance, aided only by the mysterious strength of hypnotic suggestion, my subject will support with only one hand this 5,000 pound weight. <laughs> Who will be the first lucky volunteer? <laughs> well, it's just a question of mind over matter. That's right, you don't mind and we don't matter. <laughs> you live to regret this? We intend to. <laughs> I just don't understand you people. Immortality is up for grabs. <laughs> but you don't deserve it. No, but you do. <laughs> what a terrific idea. I'll hypnotize myself. I'll go down in history. <clears throat> Look deep into my eyes. Make my mind a complete blank. My eyelids are getting heavy. I am falling into my power. When I count three, I will have the strength of an army. One, two, three. Release the ropes! But how do you get out of it? It's simple. I just snap my fingers. <laughs> hey, Kermit. It went terrific. He says it went terrific, but I know how he really feels. How's that? About so high. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a... Uh... Nice one, Gonzo. It was a triumph. Yeah, I, I don't know where you find these acts to do. Oh, I just keep my ear to the ground. It looks like it. 